Mining Industry Model We're going to cover the components of a mining financial model. It begins with resource assumptions, which are about the material that's actually contained in the ground. The material in the ground is then mined in a mining schedule. The material that's mined goes on to be processed, and the processing and refining is what ultimately leads to metal production. So these four sections are all very unique to the mining industry. Once these four sections are built, and they can contain quite a bit of detail, then a traditional DCF model is layered on top of that. Let's discuss the purpose of a mining industry financial model. A very obvious purpose is to convert the assumptions about the natural resources into a financial projection. In addition to that, it's used to value a mining asset, that is to determine the net present value of it and the internal rate of return of purchasing it. It can be used to assess the cash flow profile of an asset for both an investor and an operator. As an operator, it can be used to plan internally within the company the operation of the mining asset. Let's jump into the model and take a closer look. Here we are inside the mining industry DCF model. We've got a cover page as usual, and we can click through to get into the mining model itself. The entire model for this asset is contained on one worksheet. The reason for this is that many companies have multiple assets, and if you wanted to model all of those assets, you'd need to multiply this out across several tabs or worksheets. It would be unmanageable if this single asset had, for example, all of these as different worksheets. Let's open up the model and take a closer look. We've got our assumptions at the top, the main assumptions being conversion rates that are very handy for mining, metal prices, this is a major driver of the economics of the asset. Then there are some assumptions about production, such as how much mining is occurring each year, a reserve and resource table, the mill capacity is very important for determining how much material can actually be processed, royalties, capital costs, reclamation costs, etc. And then we get into the mining section. There's an actual mining schedule here which tracks the mineral inventory over time. And then a milling schedule which is the processing of the material that's been mined. From there we can get closer to some actual financial statements where we have metal price assumptions that drive financial statements including revenue, operating costs, capital costs, EBITDA, and net income. As you can see it's not quite a traditional set of three statements here but it does have all the components that you would need to assess the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow. Below that is the DCF model where we calculate the economics. So we determine the unlevered free cash flow. From that, we can calculate the net present value of the asset and determine the internal rate of return of buying the asset at a certain price. We calculate the payback below that in years. And as always, we have sensitivity analysis at the bottom of our model, so we can show a range of outputs based on, in this case, different gold price assumptions and different mining costs. And then we show the net present value based on different gold prices and different discount rates. Below that, we have the information that's needed to populate these charts and graphs. These charts and graphs summarize the asset, including its operating cash flow, capital expenditures, and free cash flow, as well as production and all-in sustaining cost of producing gold. Let's take a look at how you might make some changes or modifications to this model. The first thing is setting a management price deck. Management typically has a view on gold prices or silver or whatever is being mined. So you could enter the prices here, and then you could change this from being the spot case scenario to the management case scenario. Consensus might be the analyst or streets view of metal prices, so you could enter that. And I'm going to put it back to spot because we're actually going to do some sensitivity analysis on this in a minute here, so we need to be running the spot price case. The production schedule can be edited here. The grade is one of the most important factors and assumptions in a mining model. So you could make changes to the grade here easily and have it flow through the model. Another important thing to change are the cost per ton milled. 
the cost per ton can really have a huge impact on the economics and you could change them here and they flow through the whole model. Capital costs are always important as well and you can enter the sustaining capital amount here that's going to be spent over the remaining years of the mine. Now if we scroll down this is all in black here and this black font means that it's a calculation. All assumptions in CFI models are always in blue. Let's take a look down here in the sensitivity analysis and let's determine if we wanted to earn an internal rate of return of 5% as our break even for this model. We considered that the point at which we were indifferent or just breaking even on this. We can use goal seek to determine what gold price we get break even at. So let's use the shortcuts to open up goal seek. Alt A W G brings up the goal seek window. So what we want to do is change the internal rate of return to be just 5%. And then we're going to change the spot gold price up in the assumptions here. So scroll up to the top and we can change this spot gold price. It's one gold price that flows through the whole model and press OK. So we can see here that we get 1286. And I'm going to press cancel because we don't want to keep that in there. But we know that 1286 gets us 5%. Let's type that in here. And now we've got this sort of bookmarked as the break even gold price given the way the model is functioning currently. So as you can see, this is a clean and simple, well structured model that you can easily use to value a single mining asset and that you can then replicate by copying this across and creating more tabs to value more assets and value an entire mining company.